In this video, we're going to be constructing a 45 degree angle. And within the video, we are also going to do two different examples. One we are, where we are given a right angle to start and one where we're given a straight angle to start. All right, so let's start with the right angle. Let's note that 45 degrees is half of 90. So basically what we need to do is cut this right angle, this 90 degree angle in half, and we'll have two 45 degree angles. So we're going to bisect this angle. I'm going to start with the vertex. I'm going to make an arc so that it crosses both rays. And I'm gonna bold those two intersections. Starting with either intersection, I'm going to find a measurement on my compass that is pretty close to this other intersection. Okay, basically we want more than halfway across the the angle. And once we have that, what we're gonna do, we're gonna remember that measurement and we're gonna put our gold piece on the other point and we're going to repeat it. Okay, our two arcs should now intersect one another. I'm just gonna rotate my paper a bit. And we are going to use a straight edge to connect them and it should also go through that vertex of the angle. And there's our angle bisector. So we have created two 45 degree angles. We're only asked to create one, but we still have uh, satisfied the requirement here. All right, now what happens if we have a 180 degree angle, a straight angle? We're gonna have to bisect this angle twice now. When we divide it in half, we're gonna get 90 degree angles, and then we're gonna be back to where we were here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first bisect this angle. I'm going to put the gold ring on the vertex, and I'm going to make an arc so that it crosses the given angle or the given rays, and I'm gonna bold those two. Okay, now I'm going to basically uh, do the bisector part with the two arcs. And using my straight edge, I'm going to line up those intersections and it should line up with my initial vertex too. And now what I have done is I have created a 90 degree angle. But remember our goal is to create a 45 degree angle. So we are going to now go in and you could pick any of these angles, but we're going to bisect them. I'm gonna pick this top right one here. You could use this arc from before. So watch how I trace with my pen here. You can use this arc to be your first step. And now I have my two intersections that I'm going to use to create the bisector. And last, we're going to connect those intersections. And once again, they should go through your original vertex for this angle. And here is our 45 degree angle down here. So we basically took the 180 degree angle, created a 90 degree angle, split that in half to get 45 degrees.